All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to today's second blog. Here to give you a preview of the Arkansas State Red Wolves for the 2015 college football season. Now, Arkansas State, in some people's eyes, are actually one of the favorites to win the Sun Belt title this season. Now, last year they went seven and six. I thought they should have did a little bit better, especially on the defensive unit. They actually allowed, I believe, just a, a 30 points per game on the defensive side. Had they done a little bit better, I think they would have um, probably have a chance of winning the Sun Belt title last season. Last season's winner was actually Georgia Southern, who was in their first year in the Sun Belt Conference. Now, at quarterback, they do have Freddie Knightman, who was the first team quarterback all on um, um, Sun Belt Conference. He was had 3,277 yards passing, 7 interceptions, and 24 touchdowns to go along with 779 yards on the ground and 11 scores. That's why he got on the first team honors. He was a threat throwing the football and even running using his legs and running the football. Now, as far as the running back right behind him, they picked up, they have a second team um. Um, all conference honors and Michael Gordon, who had 1,100 yards rushing last season and 13 scores. And they do have a, a decent wide receiver in Trez Houston. He's their top returning receiver with 685 yards um, through the air and four touchdowns. I think that Knight is going to definitely look more towards his direction this season. Now, in the defensive unit, like I said, they allowed just a little bit over 30 points per game, and they had two first-team honors on the defenses and on the defensive side, who actually no longer with the team they are now done at linebacker Koshan Lee and as well as defensive back Artez Brown but they do have a couple of seniors but they, but they do have a couple of players who is going to step it up this upcoming year now, like, like last year they had a freshman All-American and Javon Roland Jones who had eight and a half sacks and 30 tackles freshman All-American he was second team all honors and he did miss a couple of games last season so he could possibly he should be able to make I predict him making double digits sacks this upcoming season and possibly making a run of defensive player of the year honors as a sophomore now they also have a junior linebacker in Xavier Woodson who had 95 tackles and four sacks last season and, and they have another another a couple of other players like uh, Chris Stone who had seven sacks last season as well so they definitely have some good pass rushers this upcoming season which is great news but they still need to do a better job and as far as creating more turnovers and as far as the offensive unit keeping the defense off of the field. That is going to be key this upcoming season. Now, as far as their recruits, their top three recruits starting at quarterback, they picked up the number 31 quarterback, according to ESPN, and DJ Pearson. He's six foot two, 197 pounds. At defensive end, they picked up a defensive end from Auburn, Alabama, and Griffin Riggs. And lastly, for out of Memphis, they picked up a running back in Earl Harrelson the fourth. A little small. He weighs 175 pounds as far as his weight. A little bit small in weight. He does have time to bulk up to gain more muscle and get more uh, carries as his, his his career progresses. Now this year, I think they're actually going to go eight and four overall this year. I don't see him winning the Sun Belt Championship, but possibly on um, um, causing problems this year for other teams. I think they're going to improve their record from last season. So I have them going eight and four in the regular season and making it to a bowl game now the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes i have 10 more blogs for today thank you for watching this blog i'm your man kingdom call be easy